What I'm about to show you guys is one of the best designed practice facility in all of college golf and that means a lot coming from a guy who played college golf at OU. Unfortunately we weren't able to get too many drone shots because of a nearby airport so I had to improvise. But this facility you're seeing here extends up to 750 yards of 12 greens modeled after golf architects like Pete Dye and Donald Ross. And the only people that have access to this place is the Iowa State golf team. But I get to bring you guys inside access to this golf heaven. This is like, this is pretty tough to beat. You basically have an entire golf course and a practice facility all in one one spot right here. So you kind of just like mix and match your way uh, with a couple different tee boxes out here and different greens. Hopefully play some decent golf. I'm gonna say right now, I think it's gonna be pretty tough to beat these guys. This is like their home turf. This is where they practice like all the time. So we'll see what we can do. All right, first hole here. We actually just made these holes up like this morning. I, you can just play whatever holes out here. Pretty much just make up whatever. But it's like 550, 545. We're gonna go straight up, straight up the guts. Uh, just like a bunker on the right side, waist bunker on the left. Just gonna go straight up stroke play on this video. Nah, you're well, you're plenty good. You should have stand behind Shayla. <laughs> and as soon as I make contact, I'll run behind Shayla. Just keep putting your bag on the Alright, I've got driver as well. Oh, yeah. Oop, maybe. Oh, there you go. Wait, which pin are we going? Front right. Oh, I never did it. That'll play. I also have a driver. Just try to slot it. Hey, we might be in Iowa State, but I, I'm still, I'm still repping the school. No, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> no, I got 240. Now this rough. I'm actually gonna try cut up a pot and land it. Try land it soft. Might be just long or the green back bunker. We got 225 adjusted. I don't know. I think I'm gonna like hold a fade up. So it should go a little shorter with a three iron. Oh, man, that's good. Hold it. Ah, well. That Might be on the back side of the green, but I will take it. Nice. All right, got 217 adjusted. They're pretty firm. I've got my four iron, so I'm just gonna hit the same thing as Quan, just hopefully a little higher. Oh. A long way away. Not the end of the world. I'm, I'm still in the fairway. I've got my 60 degree. All runs away from me, so I'm gonna kind of skip it, get some check, and then release down to the hole. From this angle, we're going to that far. We're gonna land close to the first one. Ah, too short. Oh. <laughs> Not that pin. <laughs> the other one. Heck! I mean, it would have been, what, six feet past it anyway? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I don't know how this finished here, honestly, but... Played as it lies. Oh! 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 Holy cow! Sharp bro! That's not bad, eh? Take that. Alright, I don't know if you guys can really tell so far about how, how firm this place is. I also don't know if it's gonna really tell you a whole lot, but listen to this. Hear that? It's like a little thud. It's just bouncing. There's a big old first bounce when you're coming into these greens. Long putt for Eagle. Should be slightly right to left, but the wind's kind of trying to fight it, so. Pretty straight, I think. Go, honey. Oh, too, too used to harvest it right now. So here's my ball, and there's the hole. It's the wrong one. Got about 50 feet. A little slower than the harvester. Oh, sit down. Sit! Sit! Hey! Ah. Got work. Alright, I got a ton of work left for my birdie. Should be a little right to left still. I mean, the wind's kind of... At least for this moment right now, it's calmed down. Yeah, it's picking up again. Trying to make this thing for birdie. Three putt after hitting the green. 
Probably seven feet up the hill, left to right. I think it's like left center. Center. Mm. Oh. Went that way, eh? Whoa. That's good. Thank you. Is that wiggle? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Par for me, par for Vizel, bogey for bogey. This green's definitely got some teeth. If you're, if you're chipping around here, especially, it's just because they're so firm and they're going to roll out a bit, like, you really got to hit some good shots out here. This is a, this is a tough, tough little practice facility. Second hole, par three down the hill. We got 164 adjusted. The pins on the back side of the screen that we just played on, and we took the other pins out so it's a bit easier to see if you guys. I got a 9 iron. It's probably 15 off the left wind, so it's going to take a good one. Oh! Hey, that's a 9? Alright, good luck. Sheesh! Alright, well, I guess I'm going 9. I don't trust myself to not take. What? I don't trust myself to take some off of this, so I'm just gonna hit this pretty full. Pretty full. Oh, that's gonna get there. Go. Go! Oh boy. At least I got some green for it, but. How much is some? Not much. I've got nine iron as well. It's a nice full hold up for me. Hold up. Hey, thank you. Also, we got Jared, who's playing with us as well. Just He's not going to be on camera for the videos, but he just hit the closest shot right now. He's actually been playing some good solid golf. He's a lefty though. He's a lefty. He ruins everything. But yeah, that's why there's another ball in there sometimes. <laughs> this is a pretty awkward shot, I will say. Pretty much just popping it out, a couple yards on the green. Tough part is getting like good solid contact out of this. All right, all right. Pretty good, Paul. Pretty good, bro. Honestly, not bad. I will take it. Well, the tee shot ended up quite a long way away. Probably got maybe 70 feet here. Try to cozy one up there. Pretty good. Take that. All right, got about 15 feet here. Down the hill, left to right. Let's see if we can get one back. A bit of tricklage. I guess. Just, all right, good. Thanks, boys. All right. Let's see if we can get a nice little up and down action here. Uh, got like seven feet, six feet. This would be a good par. Pure Hi, par. Yo. Good roll. Thank, thank you. Par from that. Guy? For how bad of a tee shot that was, I'll take it. Give. I give. Could pass. Threes all around. We go back up to that tee box, go back down that way, past this green that we're on, turn it into a part five. I don't even know what green it is, but hope he's got it. All righty, hole three that we've made up here. It's gonna be another, like I said, part five, going out to the right, kind of. We're going to the peat dye green over there. There's a bit of water short of the green. You can definitely get there. Oh no. Oh no. Little toe banger. Oh, I got the left kick too. Depends how lucky you are today. See. Either way, it's probably gonna be a layup. Okay. Right, just rough. Right, rough. Sneaky shortcut though. That was unintentional. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh wow. I never saw that one. That's uh, too far right. That was also unintentional. All right, well, found my ball. I I saw it kick hard left, but I don't know how it, I don't know, there's a bunch of like this stuff right here. Anyways, this is where my ball is, so I'm not gonna be able to get too low angle of a club. I gotta get over this stuff. I got like 230 to flag, but that doesn't really matter because I can't go for it anyways. I'm gonna open the face up a little bit on a seven and just like leave it out like left of the green. Oh my goodness, that's flying. <laughs> Holy Oh, that is so... I might say right now, I think that might be screwed. It might be looking a little nasty here. Pretty good lie, but it's a forced layup. I've got my 54 degree. I'm just gonna hack it out and leave myself 80 to 100. That should be 
fine. Oh, I've got 207 then it's probably down, probably about 5, 202. I've got an 8 iron, I think I'm just going to hit it high and let the wind take it left to right. That was nice. <laughs> the crowd loved that I was very one. nervous when that was in the air. I was too. Got 89 yards down off the left. Nice shot, bro. Thank you. 60 degree. Alright, well I actually did kind of think I was okay because my ball was like rolling down this hill. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's just kind of funneled down in this spot. Honestly, I don't think I can still get the ball up in the air. And if I do, I think I have to clip it nice. So I'm gonna go with a little bump and run action. Not my favorite shot. There. Yeah. Oh, had a chance of going in, but you know what? After seeing that, I think I probably could have gone high, but I think I probably could have done it. Oh, eagle putt for a good approach shot. Pretty hard uphill right to left, so give this with some speed. Mmm, good bird. Good bird. All right, got some, again, some cleanup work. It's been a freaking grind for me so far in these holes, but a little right to left. I'm gonna say like just barely outside the edge. Right up and down. Thank you, thank awesome. you. Pretty solid after wow. being, I felt like I was screwed over there. Really pleased with that wedge shot. Got about five feet. Pretty big right to left. It's probably got a foot of break in it. Mm. Just hit it too hard. Mm. Bugger. Nice, there you go. Well done. All right, well, that's a birdie for me. I kind of forgot it was a part five. Also, I don't know if you guys have been noticing my putts lately. Ball's been rolling a little bit more end over end, a little bit more frequently. So I don't know if you guys have seen the Cameron McCormick video where he was helping me out with putting. It's been helping me out so far. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's behind the top of the corner. Fourth hole here, we got a drivable par four, 260 yards to the back pin there. If you're left of this green, there's a cart path there, so we play that as a hazard, so don't go left. I got a hybrid here, just kind of holding up at that pin. Early days, but we have some work to do. Short and in the fairway is not too bad, so I'm gonna err on the side of caution. Hang. Short stuff, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting there with hybrid. I'm gonna go with the three wood. I know you don't want to go too far along, so I don't know. I don't need a roast this thing, just a good solid one. Oh, nice. Oh, ball. that's an awesome spot. So much? Put it right. So much? Oh. Yeah, I will take that every day. Also, a uh, little shout out to Iowa State's coach, Andrew Tanks. Uh, he's actually been using my video that I made out here like four or five years ago, showing off their facility. He's actually been using it for recruiting, which is funny. Coach, say what's up to the camera out here. What's up, everyone? Welcome. Welcome to Ames. This is home. Yeah. If you can't get better out here, I don't know what. I don't know where you should go. This is you got you got everything you need right here. Yeah, it's, it's fun, fun place to be, and yeah, excited to have you back again, Luke. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm not even doing this to like show off this place. I just like coming up here ever since I came up like five years ago. And I just saw how cool this is. It's, it's honestly just like a golf playground. All right, Charlie, we got about 50 yards after that tee shot went a little right. Some more sticky blue grass. It's probably our firmest green on the facility, so try to bring it in nice and soft. We're making this habit and I don't like it. It's a pretty tough lie. There's like a big mound here behind it. So if I go at the hole, I don't think I can get it over the bunker and keep it short or like keep it on the green. So I think I'm just gonna go out sideways and get up and down for the par. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. Go. All right, so that was part one. Part two is to get this thing up and down. It's just so tight around here. You really have to hit ball first. It's easy to thin them when it's like this. Is that thin? 
All right, after a uh, honestly really good shot coming into this green here. But the thing is, I'm kind of in this, uh, it's like into the grain right here, which should make this ball come out like super dead and like soft, so. Oh, that did come out hot. Wow, I thought that was for sure coming out dead. So Quan went for the, the full swing approach or the big swing approach. I'm gonna go for the little swing where outside the right foot, um, toe down, just hit ball first. Thanks. That's good. Wish that chip shot didn't come out so hot, but what's done is done. It should go a little bit left to right. Oh. Is that good or not? Yeah. That's generous. That is generous. Hey, hey. 12-13 feet here. Should be right to left for 30. Oh, that's why we're at. Alrighty. Uh, two pars for me and Zell. Nice par. Nice. Honestly, this hole was a. Uh, I mean, it was only 260, but it played pretty hard. Alrighty, next hole here. We got a par three. Winds off the right. I, I want to say it's slight, slight bit of hurt as well. Um, 183. It's only 174 to cover the bunker. I'm gonna go with a cut six. Oh come on, Wade. Oh sick. Sick. Oh, Wow, I got a lot of work right there. One out of six, I'm just gonna hit a full seven at the right edge of the green. Oh. Oh, where's that wind? It's a long way away. <laughs> it just kept going. Yeah. All right, no one's on the green yet. Hopefully I'll be the guy to do it. Got a six iron, just holding it up against that breeze. Mm. It's the number. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, Alright, we're here. A bit right of this par three up against the collar. Make sure you get good contact and just because it's cool, I'm gonna try to hit a tight spinner. It's where you hit down on the heaps and it skids along the ground and just spins. Kind of like that. Oh, I got it too high. It just it flew too far, right? Yeah. All right, all right. I think I, I think I over overreacted there on the tee box. I actually thought this ball was further, so I thought it was more screwed. But I'm actually okay. I mean, it's still a hard shot, but there's a chance of this getting up and down. Nice. Good job, boy. Oh. What? Oh. Beauty. The hole. Oh boy. Okay. All right. That's a good up and down. I will say. Nice. I will say that one's solid. Good shot, right? That was good. That was good. Good one. Uh, I'm one up on you. All right, got 30 feet up the hill, pretty severe, but then it goes down. Tough one to get the speed right into the wind. Yeah. Oh. Hey! Oh my goodness, Sid Ball! How much did that roll? Look at where it finished. Coming inside door. Oh, this looks really good. Wow, oh, what a save! Ty Spinner was the move. Good work. Ah, I don't think I'd have four feet here to, to not lose another one, but here we are. Straight up the hill, good stroke. Thanks. I'm at one under, Zell's at one under, Boki is at two over, but we have, they were just telling me that we got a couple hard par fours coming up, so we cannot be coasting right now, we need to keep it up. Hole. It's gonna be a par four. We're going back to the green that we were at on the very first hole in this video. But in this one, we're gonna go off the left fairway. It's gonna be a pretty long hole. I think it's like 460. I think I zapped earlier. Oh, that's the back there. Oh, well, you just hold it. Hold it to the wrong. So I'm gonna drop off that green, I'm assuming. Free drop into a plug line in the bunker. <laughs> That's great. Uh, get, up, get up that up slope. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Should be good position. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Mm. <laughs> so we were making sense. Ah, holy, holy ball. Ah. Big boy. Callaway, baby. <laughs> I got a 
Oh, I can't hit it that far. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously ball landed on the green, so I'm gonna take a little, little drop over here on the right side on the French. We got 173 flag. Currently, I'm thinking like a like a 87, kind of fight the wind a little bit. Come on, wave. I think that's the number. There we go. I switched to a six iron last minute. Next minute. I don't know, I just felt like it was a lot of wind there. 57, probably up a couple. 59, and it's been doing a pretty good breeze here to a lift flag. Flood an eight iron in there. Dig. A couple ways to play. Am I like actually opening the face and chopping on it with holding it with an angle on the wrist? Cool. Oh, this could be good. Wow, pretty good bar. All right, got myself, uh, what is this, like just inside 20 feet, maybe like 17 feet. Should be breaking a little right to left. I don't think it's as much as it looks. So I'm gonna try to trust it. Take the low line here. See that end over end? You striped it. I striped it. This could be the start of a nice run here. Wow. Yeah, okay. All right, this will be a nice up and down, just outside 10 feet. I was gonna go right, and it was good speed. What? Oh! Did not hit it with good speed. Oh. <laughs> no. That would've been an unreal save. That would. All right, this can be a park for me and Foki. Unfortunately, Zell is going to drop a shot. I think that's going to put him to even. I'm a little surprised at where I am right now. Beating the boys at the home turf. All right, hole seven here. Just like I said, this is going to be a pretty tough hole. Driving hole, driving wise, it's going to be really hard. We're going to try to have to squeeze it in between. There's water left and there's a waste bunker on the right. And there's also one bunker that's, I think it's in play. It's kind of down the middle. So we got to kind of squeeze it down the right side. And then the shot's coming downwind into the green. Ooh. Oh, stay there. Alright. That'll be pretty nice, bro. You like that. Oh, he's going for the green. Uh, oh. oh. It's over it, I think. Yeah, oh, it's so it lucky. <laughs> hey, there's the breakthrough we needed. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Head it right there next to the Vokes. Oh, that is so good. Step on that one. Wow. Yeah. That could be a good uh, compound. Carrying your ball, Boogie. Just carry mine. Pretty nice. Uh, Pretty nice. Not even in the same country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a tough one. I got 193 yards. And if you land it near this pin, it kind of like jumps forward and it kind of goes over and down a mound. I think I'm just going to hit a high cut seven. Nah, <laughs> How far you got? So it's by the other cardinal pin, and when we get up there, you'll see it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a pretty tricky two putt. Look at what I'm looking at right now. I have a bunker just short of that uh, gold flag. So I mean, coming out of the rough, what are the chances of me stopping the ball? Basically zero. I'm, I'm just gonna go look look left of this green and just like try to get as close as I can to the green. But I don't even mind if I'm in that long left bunker. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. I got 183 flag. 175 to cover the bunker, which doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to hit something short. I might even hit this nine iron, like kind of soft too. Oh, high in the face, that's for sure short. But it's manageable. You guys will see from where Voki is, it's going to be like an up and over ridge, left to right, chip or pitch. It's no fun over there. Big drive. I'm right now. You're going to wedge in your hands. From the fairway. It'd be a real shame to miss the green now, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. I got 164. Oh, top yeah. ridge. I'll take it. All right, well, yeah, I wish I was a little closer because now I have to get really cute with this front edge here because we're downwind. I'd rather end up short of that front edge than long. 
I landed it way too far. Now I got a trickler from my bar. I'm kind of lucky it landed in the rough and it popped here because if that lands on the green, it's down over there somewhere and it gets real tricky. This will be one to to really annoy the boys. Let's roll this guy in. Ah, uh, too hard. I think my approach shot was probably six inches from feeding all the way back down the slope, so just got to breathe on this. Holy, oh. really straight. Tried. Damn, yeah, that's good. Whoa! Bro, I'm like 12 back. I'll bite it, I'll bite it, I'll bite it, I'll bite it. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I got a downhill trickler. Should be barely, barely right to left, just based on the uh, Zell's putt there. Good oh, putt, look oh. solid. Wow, strapped that putt too. It's about eight feet here, clean this up. Kind of a must make. Yeah. Nice, thank you. Nice. Thank Good two putt. Thanks. All right, so we got a couple more holes left out here. We got a par four for our next hole. I think on the hole after that, we can come up with the like the longest hole we can make out here. It's gonna be like 700, maybe a little over 700 yards. We're gonna call that a little par six action. Let's get going. Par four. We got cross water at about 280. So we're all looks like we're all gonna hit some sort of iron up there and have a wedge or a nine iron into the green. Try to stay one. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Get left. Negative in the hot on that one. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. That was awesome. We're just trying to rough that one. <laughs> oh, good. I'm trying to do basically the same thing as Zell, but maybe not so low and a little bit left of that. So uh, little. That all. Little, little, little. Oh, pinch of bunker or something. Uh, there's a bit of water hazard action over there, isn't there? Yeah. The fairways are running pretty quick. So just kind of flying this one 50 yards and a half. 120 and just letting it run. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, boy. That's bad. Yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> what do you reckon that attack angle is here? Negative 20. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> chopping an axe zero. at that stage, isn't it? Got 167, ball a little above the feet, but it is kind of what a tee. I think I've got a muscle a wedge or a feather a nine. I think I'm going to go the harder wedge. I didn't know if it was a jumper or not, eh? Alright, well I thought I was I thought I was in this water. Fortunately I think my ball like caught this rough or something. I don't know what happened. Caught that rough and like it just ended up like right over here somewhere. So I just moved the ball off the green. Got 153 flag, we went to the gold flag again. I think I'm gonna go like low little cutter eight iron. Catch peace. Go! Great shot, Bond. Come in. That's really good. Oh. He's come to play today, eh? What did you have for dinner last night? Oh, yeah. we had a little steak. <laughs> Very similar to Quan, he had a little cut up eight. I've got probably five yards less. I'm gonna go with a nine, I'm riding it a little bit more. No! Oh, hey. This! Ah. Oh, short of the screen, get a little pitch shot up the hill. That nine iron just kind of the chest stopped, and everything else went left. So I got a tricky little uphill chip. Not bad. All right, got a what is this? 15 feet. A little trickler could be a little tricky. I think the wind might try to push push it a little bit to the right. Great. Pretty similar to corn, just a little bit closer. Need the wind. Oh, no way. Stop blowing. <laughs> if I putt it now, I would aim down so I'd ride it. Ah, buggy. Why is it so bright? Alright, we're good. That way, that way. That pale is just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Not to be, not to be today, unfortunately. We're here to the final hole. We're all the way at the back of this place. So we're gonna take it down the right side on this hole. We haven't done that yet on this video. If you do happen to go down the left fairway, you're gonna be forced to lay up on the right fairway. But if you do hit it on the right side fairway like you're supposed to, you can hit it on either fairway on your second shot. It's gonna be a long hole today. Actually, it's a long hole every day from all the way back here. There's no wood with 750, it's not a long hole. <laughs> right, send it on Quan's line. Oh, it'll be saved. <coughs> oh, 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 big oh. hill. <gasps> right on top of the hill. It's lag. It is. I reckon. He's right at the bunker. Could've oh, got a kick. Ah, uh, yeah, that's decent. Should be right on the bunker. Nice. Thank you. Dude, a hole like this, where we just create just a ridiculous hole, like, I love doing stuff like this. I guess it's kind of, it's kind of like a cross-country hole, but I don't know, this just makes me feel like a kid again, just doing all this ridiculous stuff. Oh my gosh. You can fit your whole hand, hand under, under it. it. All right, so you're going driver again? No, I'm not going to get a driver. I'm going to get like a... <laughs> Come on. <bottom> on <laughs> Take that. All right, after that tee shot, I've got 417 to the pin. There's a waste bunker over there. It's like 230 to fly it. So I'm just gonna pop over it, up that left fairway and have a nice wedge gym. That should be good. All right, this is very weird to say, but I have 400 to the yellow, to the gold flag that we're trying to go to, which doesn't even matter. We're trying to hit this three wood. Basically, where, where Boki hit it. I'm glad I got to see his because I didn't really know what's up here because that little waste thing is kind of blocking my vision. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Uh, miss whatever's over there. I, I want to say that's probably in the rough, is my guess, but. Oh boy, Shaler. What do we got? I will say, I think it's somewhat manageable. I don't know. I'm tempted to like open up a night iron. But we got 170 basically, kind of into the wind off the left. I'm gonna risk it. Get my queen. I think, I don't know, I can't tell if I chunked it or not, but that went nowhere. You definitely chunked it. Yeah, I mean, at least I got like a long pitch shot. Well, like a wet shot, I guess, into the green. I've got 183. The wind is a bit high. Well, that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> I think it's a bit off the ceiling. I've got 142, went straight off the left. I've got a 9 iron, I'm gonna hold it up on the pin. We've got the look we needed. I actually really want this scramble par now on a 730 yard par 5. Get up a little. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Pretty quick when it lands on the green, a little right to left today, Voki. Yes, Shayla said, just go ahead and just make it. That's pretty good. Take like that. Go. Got 12 feet here, right to left. Let's see if I can finish with a birdie. Good, oh, thank you. What a roll. Good. Thank you. On the board, lucky last. Be a nice par after that t-shirt. Nice. Easy. Solid. Yep. All right, here we go. Still got to finish off the job here. Should be pretty straight, like right center. Solid. Nice quad. Hey, that's yes. good play. Is that a course record? <laughs> no chance. You guys definitely it. got Well, it is because it's the first here. time we've ever played that course. <laughs> good stuff, that was man. Fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That was a nice little par there on the last hole at a 700 30 yard par five. I mean, 
I just would have loved to have this place as a, as a little playground for me in the in college. I mean, don't get me wrong, the place I had at Oklahoma when I went to college, it was pretty good too. But this is just a different kind of just special out here. This is really cool. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this place that Iowa State's got. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give me a like. It really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already and you're part of the 60% that are not subscribed and you're watching this video, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.